Alright, what's up guys? It's uh, Scars here and we're back with some regrowth. Um, if you notice, things are a little bit different than whenever I left them off. Uh, I did a couple of work, I did some work off cam and I also did record a video but it didn't render properly and it, I guess it didn't record properly but well yeah so I guess we're just gonna pick it up from here and see how it goes I was extending everything I got a little farm going that was actually I did get a few more quests going too uh, I did I think it was this one which that was a pain because I had to get three of those and three of those and I couldn't for the life of me get the last one of these uh, and then I did the bucket that was easy I think I was doing that one last episode when we left off. And I'm working on this right now. I need the mandrake roots. Okay, I got those over there growing. And the flowers, that's going to be kind of difficult because I got to use the uh, floral fertilizer. And then I got to kill an enderman. And then we'll go from there. I got that done too. I don't know if I had that done or not. But that's about where we are with our, uh, with our progress. So... I don't really know what I'm going to do in this episode. I don't know how long this episode's going to be. Uh, I might just record for a little bit and then outro it and then edit it from there. So if that happens, there won't be some, there won't be endings on some of them. Just bear with that. There will be an outro eventually. Uh, so just, I guess just have fun watching it and let's get started. Uh, so let's check here. Uh, that's mandrake. So those are good. Sweet. All right. Can we windmill that? Oh, also this chest. This is gonna be like my compost chest. Which the compost bin. What it does is it makes uh, this stuff. And what this stuff does is if you put it on with dirt, it makes garden soil. Basically, it acts like regular soil. But there doesn't have to be a water source nearby. And you can use that to, uh, you have to use that to grow, like, the magical crops and stuff, which I'm really excited about because I'm happy with the magical crops. Oh, I did a little bit of organization, too. Uh, this is, like, all of the, uh, stuff for the garden. This is just my tools and stuff to repair it and stuff. Oh, I also, had, I did went fishing for food. <laughs> And then this is just random stuff right now. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this yet. But I did go fishing for my food. Um, I figured that would be a good way to get a small source of food going. Uh, that won't be anything on camera. That will all be off camera. Because I know y'all don't just want to watch me stand there and fish. But fishing's a good source of food. I don't know why I didn't think about it. So we'll see and we'll go from there. Anyways, that's gonna we're going to finish ex extending this. <laughs> And then we'll see what we can do about some quests. We're going to get that over there done. And then we're going to go from there. Hopefully we can get into some magical crops in the next few episodes. Because I'm really excited about magical crops. Magical crops is really fun. If you haven't used it, basically what magical crops does is it makes it to where you can pretty much grow your own uh, ores. Like copper, tin, iron. Gold, coal, diamonds, you can grow a whole bunch of stuff. You can grow like skeleton skulls and or skeleton essence to make skeleton skulls and stuff like that. So it's a really nice, cool mod pack. And my mouse is being crappy. I gotta grab something for a mouse pad. Will this work? <laughs> Alright, that works. Alright. Um, crap, I don't like the Matic, and I do like it, but I don't at the same time. Oh, also, uh, we come into them, now my mouse court working again. Come on, mouse. Please work. Unrecognized USB device. Thanks, mouse. Yeah. Uh. Come on. 
Sorry, guys. There we go. Alright, so let's go. I'm not, uh. Really? Let's go. I got something to show y'all. Um, in our quest for dirt, I overlooked a lot of dirt. And. Uh, I don't think there was actually any up here. I think it's in the second part. Uh, but, yeah, it's done this way. But still, there was dirt. If I go, I went down that way. And I went, uh, did I go up this way? Yeah, okay, that's the two ways I went, right? Well, going up this way, going up back here, and... Okay, no, this is the way I went. No, it's not. There's a whole bunch of dirt here. Ooh, there's an Endermite. I can't kill those Endermen. They don't count. <laughs> anyway, uh, there was the, all of this was dirt. All of... Not all the way down, but pretty far down was dirt. Then we got all of this dirt right here. Uh, I believe there's some more dirt around here. Nope. Okay. But there was also... If we're going back up... We drop down from this gravel right here, and we drop down, and bam, there's dirt right here that we overlooked. So I felt so stupid about that. But, uh, anyway, yeah. So that's where we got all of that dirt from, and then if you looked, we had like almost two stacks of dirt. That's where all of that dirt came from. Uh, so. Ah, oh, crap. My mouse quit working again. I need a new mouse. Are these done? Yep, sweet. Alright, now let's go. Oh, wow. Let's go do this. Same. We get 16 bone mill. We need to make a seed analyzer, which is, I think, really easy to make. Uh, just. Oh, we need glass. That's right. Sands over here. Might as well just make eight because, you know. Let's go up here. Never mind. The mouse is. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with my mouse this episode. Any other time I use my mouse, it's been fine. And then I record an episode of Regrowth, and my mouse decides it wants to crap out. Ugh. It's really stupid, and I'm not understanding it at all. Seven and can we go? Let's go. There we go. Stupid, stupid mouse. All right. One second, guys. Let me go. Never mind. I can use this. I can use this right here. Give me one second. Grabbed a book to use as a mouse pad. Let me plug it in. There we go. That should work a lot better now. I don't know how I messed that up that bad. Alright, now I need uh, sticks. And if there's a wood, or just stick. Yeah, I need wood. Yeah, 
forgot about that. Alright, so let's go. Oh, I was like, I need a brick too. Um, cobblestone slabs. Do, do, do. Boop, boop. There we go. Alright, so now what we did with this, if y'all don't know what it does, it. We go to the quest book, we get an Agrocraft journal. So what the journal is, is it just, it, there's nothing in it right now, of course. Welcome to Agrocraft Farming. Today I will teach you the basics of farming with crops. To start, you will need to put four sticks on a crafting grid. This will make crops. These can be put on farmland and seeds. Can also, you can also apply a second set of crops to an existing crop. This will create a cross crop. If you plant two or more cro plants in crops adjacent to cross crops, there is a chance for mutation to occur. In this ch journal, you can keep track of all your discovered crop mutations. To register a, seed, a discovered seed, put the, put the journal in the seed analyzer and then analyze the seed. This will reveal to you the properties of the seed as well as register in the journal. If you ever wish to copy the journal, put it in a crafting grid together with a blank book and quill. All right, I've never actually read that. That's kind of why I read that. Um, so let's just go ahead. Can we make tables actually? I don't know if tables are in this. Yeah, can't spell either. Ooh, I can. Do we want to make an oak table for this? Let's do it. Just, just let's just do it. Oh, cool. I don't know if I, I can do it like this. Nope. Let's go ahead. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> boom, boom. Two, and then three. I don't even know if this is actually going to work like I want it to, but we're going to put the table there. Put the seat. Seat analyzer on the table. That looks dumb. Um, can we just put it down like that? No. Just put it down and then. Alright, we're just gonna take um, a block of wood and just place it down. Put that on there. Put the journal in there. And then let's grab the seeds. I don't actually know if we have to analyze the seeds. I don't, I didn't ever actually analyze them. Uh, Whenever I was doing all of this stuff on my own. But I mean, you never know. It's time to start something new. Try it. Figure it out. See if it actually works. If not, then oh well. But we shall see. Mm. Let's see though. Let's get some more quests done. That's what I want to do. I want to get some more quests done. Sugar cane seeds go there. Regular seeds go over there, I guess. Mandrake seeds go there. Uh, the carrot seeds was there, and no, it was there and here. That was potato seeds. No, that was the pumpkin seeds. Sorry, I, I kind of want it to be how it was. Pumpkin, potato, and carrot carrot seeds was there, I think it was actually there and there, but you know, pump, no, potato and pumpkin, and then, uh, belladonna seeds, I didn't analyze the belladonna seeds, anyways, so now, we analyze some seeds, we go back into our book here, actually, let's just click that, and we go look at this, 
it tells us now that wheat seeds, belladonna seeds can produce carrot seeds or potato seeds. Belladonna and potato can produce mandrake. Mandrake and belladonna we don't know yet because we haven't done it. But it just tells us this is like whenever it's fully grown this is what it's going to look like. This is what it bears. This is how much light it needs. I don't know what tier 3 means. But yeah, anyway, that's just what this does. It just if we ever forget what we need to make carrot, pumpkin, blah blah blah, carrot seeds, how it looks, the brightness, the tier, I don't know what the tier is. Mandrake seeds. Potato seeds. I we have all three of the stages of potato seeds already. The pumpkin seeds we need to do carrots and sugar cane that's not actually how it looks I don't know why it's showing it like that and then sugar cane seeds and regular seeds and that's all we have right now but that's basically what that does so it just makes stuff a little bit easier uh, if you actually use it I don't know if I'm actually gonna use it or not I might I don't know if uh, later questing actually requires you to use it and if it does, I will get into it, but I, I'm not really a big of a fan of using the book, because that means I have to go analyze every single seed before it gets planted, and I just, I don't know if I'm going to like doing that or not, so we shall see. But, let's throw all of this stuff in there. For now, let's look at the quest book, see if there's anything else I can do. Oh, these are fun. Uh, I need more mandrake and green dye. Actually, I have that cactus, don't I? Yeah, I do. So we're gonna cook the cactus. So, or can I just turn it into uh, four of these? Can be crafted in cactus paste, which can be smelted. Dang, I need four. Well, let's. Let's go ahead and grab the four fertilizer then. Do I have any? I do have four. Alright. Okay, so we're going to grab this. We're just going to hope for the best. Try to get those two yellow, white ones and some green ones. Those lime ones. I think these are lime. Yeah, these are lime. I don't think lime will work. green I didn't get any lime I need green and I'm out of those actually I'm gonna go ahead and set up a uh, compost bin uh, it's a quest later on in the uh, achievement book but I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and see how compost bin just six sticks and three planks Six sticks, and I already had the planks, but I'm, don't, I'm not gonna go grab them again. What is that? Oh, that's a drying rack. Oh, it's on the okay. This is a pain to actually get set up whenever you. Whenever it actually gets set up, it's a pain to start because it takes so long to compost. So we're just gonna go ahead and get it started. All of this stuff would go in there, and then what it does is it'll make compost out of everything. Uh, it's in the wrong spot. And what this does, it takes all of this stuff, and it'll make compost. It'll slowly take stuff out. I don't know how much it takes, but yeah. Eventually, I'll have it automated to where I have it. I just throw whatever I'm composting into hoppers, and then I feed... I mean into chest and then I'll feed the chest with the hopper into this and then I'll pull it out with that so it's never full and that would be like after I get like trees and stuff going I'll I'll compost uh, leaves and wood after I get a lot going uh, let's see we need to make that uh, why did I do that we need cactus dye 
or green or green did I green something green also I want to get into uh, magical crop I mean not magical crops the bees mod because I know the bees can produce uh, they can produce some um, diamonds and stuff like that too I just never actually got into it how was that made okay I never actually just I never really got into uh, bees and I kind of want to get into the bees so all right we're gonna take this we're gonna make powder um, that's what four eight okay and we're gonna take bone meal two more of these and try again with all of the uh, ooh I got the two white ones sweet alright so now we go into this and we collect that we got ten more we need to make a lexica flower on a piece of paper how much sugar cane do I have Okay, I have three, so we can do that. Claim that. We need to make these now. We need another mandrake, and we need green flowers. Let's, Let's go ahead and make another chest. here and this is gonna be for all the mystical stuff because I don't want to um I don't want to compost the mystical because that's all gonna be used in later date on a later date and stuff actually let's keep this for now uh, honestly don't ask me what this does because I've never actually used it. I just know about it. I like the pages. That, I like how the pages flip. I've never actually used it, so I know it'll tell us like how to make stuff. Oh, you can make it with a uh, sapling too. Cool. Oh, okay. I'm not doing that. But yeah, that's just that goes so now we need green ones we need green flowers so that's there's one green I think that is enough so if we go look at this and anyway, two composts with all that stuff and then what we do with the compost is we take it and we uh, We take it, take the compost, take the dirt, take two dirt, put the compost there, and put the dirt, and we make garden soil. This is pretty much the same thing as this, except for it doesn't require you to, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, make, it doesn't require you to have a water source, so that's pretty much the only difference. Uh, we need the other mandrake root. I can spell. So we need four wood ash, two of those, uh, bone mill, and the mandrake. So we need uh, wood ash, wood ash. We have a 
exactly for wood ash. I think that's everything. Let's see. Oh, it makes three. Cool. Alright, so we're gonna take more of those because those are hard to make. We need to get four of any sapling, I guess. This. Does this one count? I don't know if that one counts or not. I know that one counts though. Then we're gonna plant it, we're gonna bone mill it, and then we're just gonna. Cut it down because this is an easy way to get saplings. But I do want an oak sapling, so we're gonna keep trying. Uh, actually, no, we're not. We're gonna eventually get a bone. But no, I don't know. We might. I don't like making this stuff though because it's really annoying to make. But. there's any other wood so we're good um let's see complete this quest and then we need one more sapling there it is there we go let's grab an oak sapling because I want an oak sapling and then we need to make one of those not use the white yet, let's use these three of five, put that there, put the petals, let's throw this in here, um, I don't know if these are actually going to grow or not, but we shall see. We're getting, getting a little nice start going. Alright. That was right. That's right, that's right, that's right. Need the petal thingy. Petal apoth... Petal apothecary? book and we need to make pure daisies and that's just for the white petals that's why we didn't use light put that in there remember the white put this here I need to find my bucket there it is now I need a seed right yeah I don't know if I have any regular seeds, I do. Alright, there we go. So now, living wood and living rocks. This is where I gotta smelt the cobblestone. Where's my easy job? There it is. I guess let's go ahead and put a ferry onto equipment. And 
then this adds a little, oh, it's a butterfly. Nature's attendant. I don't know if we can, oh, we can. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, guys, we'll, uh, I'm going to end this episode here, and, yeah, so, um, I don't know if I'm going to make a farm or not between episodes. Uh, I'm thinking about it, but I'm, I might not. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll finish up the little base area here, uh, getting this all dirt, and then moving all of the stuff over, getting a little bit more organized. Uh, finish this up. Uh, basically, all of this is just going to do is that. It's just going to turn it into that, and then we just mine it. Same with the rocks, it's just going to turn into rocks. Let me just mine it, so nothing too fancy, nothing too big. Boom, boom. So, yeah, and I need more wood anyway, so I can't even finish that quest. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching the Regrowth Mod Pack. Uh, be sure to tune in for the next episode. Peace out, and remember this is America.